Basketball, you betcha I'm back. It's the Daily Trainer, ready to give you what you need, guaranteed to succeed in the gym every day for the game that you love to play. Basketball, you, you know what to do. Like, comment, and oh, this is how we got to start out every basketball, you. My goodness. So, I guess you know what today is. We're going to do a little bit of agility. So, first I want to get into the dunking aspect because that clip inspired me to start the workout with that, just that alone. So, we're going to work on our dunking. So, if you want to lower those rims, go ahead and do what you got to do as we're going to work our takeoff. All right. Let's go with the one leg takeoff. We're going to do that five times each on the right side. And then also one leg takeoff for our left-handers five times each on the right side. Then you want to take off two feet. You want to do the same thing five times on the right side, same thing on the left side. And let's go with one hand off two. Then let's go off two feet with two hands. Okay. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to look into some different agility drills that we really haven't done on here. Similar to like a little bit of the ladder drill. So one is going to be in and outs. Okay, so we're going to jump over and we're going to go in we're going to go out of our three cones. We're also going to do directional cutting drill, okay, where we take that one step, cut across, take that one step, cut across, almost like a crossover without the ball. We're going to definitely do that. And then what I want to look into, oh, all these are going to be five sets as well. And then what I want to look into is our W drill. We're going to go up and back up and back through the cones. And then I want to do our two-legged pogos, our one-legged pogos. And lastly, another one that I want to do is our shuttle drill, okay? Where it's just quick touches, quick turns. Uh, we're going to do that as well to really start off this agility portion of the two-a-day workout. Thank you again for joining us. Hope you guys had a great holiday and we're going to keep this thing rolling. Hey, don't forget, you can get something to drink if you're working as hard as you can. And you have to remember, are you in shape? Are you in the best shape? And then that question you can always ask to yourself is, why not? We need to do what we can to be in shape. All right, go ahead and enjoy that water basketball, you. Nothing better than improving your bounce with jumping agility workouts. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to first jump rope. Jump roping is key in the success of getting that ankle strength, building that solace, and working those calves just a little bit, not to mention those quads. All right, so we wanna get 700 jump ropes in. That's seven sets of 100, which is a lot, okay? I'm gonna let you mix it up today. If you can put it on one leg or your other leg um, when you get real tired, and that way you can kinda rest on each side of your body, but it's still a good workout, all right? Then what I want is I want you to find a any object that you can put a foot on that's steady and then you're going to do ankle pops okay so similar to the jump rope just working a little bit different angle when you're throwing those ankle pops up and you're emphasizing that force um, on the balls of your feet getting that pop that you're looking for okay and then what we want is we want to do some med ball jumps Okay, so if you might not have a med ball, you can take a basketball and you're going to jump up as high as you can in the air, work on controlling that landing, coming down and really getting that force and that velocity up into the next jump and just work on improving your vertical that way. All right. Now, after we do that, we want to look into, oh yes, and I'm sure you're going to be asking about the sets and how many, okay, 10 reps and uh, four sets of each on that and then what I want is we're going to get into rebounding okay that's a good agility drill as well as hand and eye coordination as you are trying your best to get the rebound and beat your personal best all right um, we're going to time this for 45 seconds and see how much you can get the goal to beat would be five 
five. So it's going right up, it's quick, you're putting it right back in. And it just helps you working on elevating and trying to help with rebounding when you're a smaller person as well. All right. Then we're going to the free throw line. We've had the ball in our hands quite a bit, so hands are warmed up now and we're ready to go. So we're gonna shoot some free throws. You're gonna make three out of five as your goal. If you don't make three out of five, you need to keep shooting. All right, and then we are gonna get into some more agilities as you get your water break and we prepare you for the last stretch of the workout. Now we're looking into broad jumps. Okay, we're gonna go broad jumps into uh, four sets of six. And then after we do broad jumps, we are going to then incorporate a little bit of defensive agilities. And that's the most important part of this as we are continuously trying to be a important piece without scoring the basketball, all right? And our defensive drill this time is gonna be around uh, the two cone drills, okay, two cone drills. You gotta, you gotta go under and over the top and then back under. And after that, you do have to look into key to key slides as this will help with your quickness and your reaction time, bouncing back on the defender when overplayed hard. And uh, we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Then I wanna see close out drill. Slide to the right, slide back to the left, go baseline, show denial, and then show denial on the back door. Okay, that's the key in that practice of defense. I really want you to go on with the focus and understand that it's all goal oriented stuff and we need to get it done. All right, as you want to continue to see results, you have to also compete to get those results. Remember, it is you versus you. It's never against anyone else. You are responsible for you and everything that comes with it. And lastly, we're just gonna condition, okay? Our conditioning drill today is gonna be the liner drill. And the liner drill is free throw line and back, half court and back, and then free throw line and back, and then full court after. And I want you to run that 10 times. Then I want you to get to the free throw line and I want you to make five free throws after you finish the workout. All right, basketball you, that's my time. And I will be back and hope to see you back too. Like, comment, and subscribe to it real quick, real quick. All right, remember, Someone's always working. Are you?